Hello, welcome to part two of Spurverts, things that have got us excited to be Spurs fans. Uh, this week, kind of excited, but not really sure about the potential signing of Yarmolenko. Yeah. Uh, plays in the Ukrainian league, a highly rated winger uh, on the left, got a lot of assists, got a lot of goals last year. Um, very tall for mm. a winger. Uh, how do you feel about Yarmolenko? Have you seen much of Yarmolenko? Not a great deal. I mean, Dynamo Kiev, not a great team, really. It's not that tough in the Ukrainian yeah. league, is I mean, it? we wanted Konoplyenko at one stage. Mm. He was a great player. I mean, yeah. this guy, uh, it's a bit of a cop out, isn't it? Desperate. I wouldn't mind. I don't know. I just I feel at the moment that we just I just want to sign someone. You know, someone, I just yeah. want someone attacking. That's not we a need kid. Someone attacking. That's not a kid uh, at the moment, unless yeah. it's uh, Sido. Come to us, mate. Not Man City. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. I just don't know. I'm ah, indifferent. I'm indifferent about him. You yeah. know, if he comes, depends all right. Much, depends how much he costs. I think anything above 15 mil, too much. You're looking at it really from the club's point of view, aren't yeah. you? Yeah, you've been yeah. Levy a lot, I'm taking under Daniel Levy's head. wing. Yeah, ah, fair thinking enough. a lot about money at the moment. Ah. Tried to negotiate the pound saver menu at McDonald's earlier. It went terribly. Oh. Um, also, De Gea. Now, this hasn't got me excited. This has got me nervous again. Uh, I don't know if you've seen this, but De Gea has supposedly kind of hinted at the fact that he actually wants to go now before mm. the season starts, before they have to play us, because he's worried he's going to get flack from the United fans. Yeah. Also, Louis van Gaal has kind of suggested we need to get rid of him. He, he took him off at half time in a pre-season match because he was terrible. Oh, they wow. Wanna, they think they want to get rid of De Gea, which worries me for my boy Hugo. Hugo isn't going anywhere. I, I like to say I've got sources, you know, we've, we, I've been... Sounds like a conspiracy theory to me, man. No, no, listen, Hugo's not going anywhere. I've got people that's got people that's got some people who have cousins, who have sons, that have actually spoken to Hugo Lewis's parents, and he should be staying. Oh, perfect. Yeah, Sorry, then. reliable. Well, I'm very excited. I'm yeah. feeling very perverted about that definitely legitimate information yes. from Craig Mitch. Um, how do you feel about Stan Collymore's recent I prediction? Am. I am. Uh, Stan Collymore, I don't know if you've seen this, guys, but Stan Collymore has predicted the league table. Um, why wouldn't you? Uh, trying to get on Loro's turf. He's just He's not predicted serious. the league table this year. He has put us, not fourth, not in the top four. Fair enough, I understand that. We're a young side, we're in transition. Uh, maybe fifth? Nope, no. not fifth. Hasn't put us fifth. All Where's right, fine. Points? I get it. Liverpool have uh, grown this year and they've bought some strikers and stuff and they're yeah. going to be better going forward. Um, so you think he put, uh, put, put us sixth probably? Probably just put us sixth then. That'd be fair. Oh, no, no, he's put Swansea sixth. What? He's put us seventh. Unbelievable, Stan. How dare you? And he said Gilfie Sigurdsson is the key to their success. Our reject. Our reject. Is the, the key reject. to their success. That is an act. See, Stan Collymore, do you know what the problem is? You tweet too much. You're like Meek Mill. Do you know what? You should just go and be a pundit and leave the social media alone, mate. You tweet way too much. That's why you're not credible. And I would bring up something, but you know what? I've got too much class and I'm not going to bring up. But everyone knows what you are. Everyone knows allegedly, what you are. Allegedly, yeah. Um, he also said that Harry Kane uh, is going to be a one-season wonder. He said we're relying oh, on heavily. This guy gets worse and worse. He said we've sold all our players and we've got no depth in our squad anymore, which is kind of, I mean, I understand what he's saying, but the transfer window is still young-ish, um, although it's ageing rapidly, uh, and we're going to have to put it in a home pretty soon. But he says Harry Kane is going to be a one-season wonder. What about that amazing goal he scored against the All-Stars to prove that he's not going to be a one-season wonder he's, and a he's joke. still up for it? I can't take anything he said seriously Natural anymore. class, natural talent, something you lack, Stan. Oh. Actually, I, I think you're quite a good pundit, and I think you're all No! Right. Why I are you backtracking? With this. I disagree with what you've said here, okay? <sighs> and it's well within my right to disagree with that, but still think you're an okay guy. So, there you go. And you know what? It has got me excited. It's got me excited for Spurs to prove you wrong, Stan. Stan. Not even a real name. Our number one, Stan. Yeah. Kind of. Also, oh, we got no, we got no strength in depth in our squad. Well, Alex Pritchard is back in training, mate, and he was the best player the championship's ever seen, Ooh, according to his ex-manager. So, how's that for strength in depth? The England under-21 international, Alex Pritchard. Yeah. He's going to be smashing it, along with Harry Kane, who's going to be smashing it. This yeah. has been Spurbert's part two. Make sure you comment on the video, make sure you like it and subscribe to the channel, and we will see you soon. I know why you're so good, Craig, because it is Audi Cup oh, 2015 yeah. time, and me and Craig are going to Munich. You're jealous. 